Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Curse of the Spooky Gods. We are going to do the same thing for these, but we're also going to check out the will uh, of the serpent. Let's say that. Of the serpent. Your corruption threshold increases from 100 to 120 at the start of the exploration. Because, quite frankly, that nets us an entire extra bar over the course of the, uh, the whole run. So that's a pretty big deal. Oh, Jiminy. This seems like a more fun, un like, uh, non, non-committal path. Plus, I, I really do think that starting with gold on the very, very first room makes a lot of sense. After that, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I feel like getting a, a relic early on that, you know, reduces curse gain in a huge way over the course of the whole run is really important or getting a relic that makes it so when you take damage you gain gold i feel like those are some really good starts maybe today we are actually going to work on parries he says knowing it full well it ain't happening what am i doing <laughs> wow what a start that was but, uh, I don't know, apparently uh, we can weaken with our parries, and apparently uh, the darkness does indeed increase the damage you take. So those are the two big confirmation things that we did just get in between the episodes here. So that is pretty darn neat. Oh, oh, you fool. Maybe we can utilize the gun today? I don't know, it's just like... I think that might stagger. Wop, wop, wop. Okay. I mean, I want to check. Is that a stagger? Ah, shoot. I kind of want to get them to start doing an attack from from a distance here that we know. It staggers. Okay. That's so good to know. So good to know. All right. Immediately, I now understand the value of the gun combo. He's learned. Restore 25% of max health whenever a curse is lifted. Uh, you know. I, uh, that could be nice. Actually, that, that hit me. That, that hit me. You gotta be joking. Whoop. That actually could be really good, because I now, I, I guess I just thought about it, and every single time we clear a boss out, we do end up Oh, hell yeah. We do end up always going to a healing shrine as soon as possible afterwards. That actually, you know, that's that's pretty nice now that I think about it. Is this, this is the, uh, whoop, the gold room in the gold path, I guess? I guess I never thought about that, is it? <laughs> Yeah, because I always just, I saw the gold and I was like, you know what, that just probably means that there's more gold here. It just hit me that that is very likely not the case. Oh my god, that was way too spicy. If we just wait a long time, we can go pick up that gold. It's just so early in the run that this gold may actually matter a lot. 20, 20 might be a big deal. Okay. Okay. Gotta go for Relic, but yeah, getting that uh, damage taken into gold gain so early. Whew. You love to see it. Okay, let's... We'll light this up so we don't take as much damage. Womp. Nope. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Not sure exactly... Oh. Oh, dang it. I'm trying so hard to make the the wombo combo happen, but it's actually getting me hurt more than anything. Come on. Fight. Okie dokie. Okay. Light it up. But yeah, if we can not get the max curse today, that'd be fantastic. Is this the... Okay. I always just want to take the alternate path. I always just assume that it's going to be better. Somebody screaming. Oh, it's me this morning. All right. You know what? Let's uh, break that before anything. 
Once again with the screaming. Why? Why you do this to me? Oh, thank you. We're sitting really pretty for money. Whoop, bup, bup, bup. I feel like that's just the way to go. Oh. Boom. Clean it up. 30% damage against weakened enemies. So, I mean, apparently, uh, yeah, apparently parrying correctly does actually weaken enemies. 100% of the damage taken in gold. 300% of the damage taken in gold and dexterity. I'm going to go for a, a reroll because I think moves all corruption when it gold. I feel like if we, this is the part of the run where if we get something, like this could be good, but we do have to obviously use our curse for it. Gold offerings removed by corruption. Impress me. <sighs> One more, come on. I know we're using it so early. Plus two of, to every stat. I mean, it's like, it's nice, but it's, ah, oh, man. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed, and I don't really want to use my last reroll. Fine, I'll, I'll take two to every stat for now. Fine, 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 fine. It seems like a, it seems like a nice relic. You don't have a lot of money, so I'm actually gonna go rock the gold path into, I don't know, stat or weapon, I'm not sure. Stat will stay with us no matter what weapon we might find something better. And like, this weapon is good enough. You know, like that's the thing, it's, it's good enough. So as long as we, uh, oh, I just didn't know who was going to maybe come for me, Beep. clean enough. As long as you got a weapon that can do good enough, three constitution, okay. The prior runs, we did start out with, uh, with five constitution, which is, oh, pretty nice. He's going to go, oh, you are so screwed, mon frere. Yep, yep, yep. Don't think so. Don't think so. Look at all this gold. I'm so glad we got the extra gold perception stat before we came here. It's going to add up to a lot. It looks like it's an extra, what, 10% or something? Oh, you are just telling me that I really have to learn how to parry. And honestly, it just it does not seem nearly as, as safe and easy and brainless as doing a dodge. I'm gonna rock stats. I'm gonna rock stats. We're definitely gonna get one curse by the time we make it to the boss. But actually having 120, it's a, bit, it's a big difference. Okay. I wonder if we, um... Oh! I wonder if we can parry, uh... That guy, Laser... Laserman. I tried, I tried so hard, it wouldn't let me. Can we do, we can, we can. I don't know why it wasn't letting me turn into the uh, the secondary. Maybe it's like, one, two, three. Yeah, I mean, you can't do it after the uh, after you do your finisher. After you do your finisher, you've committed. Base damage for bows. We don't have one, I know we might get one, but still, it's hard to, purchase something because you might, you know? You might. Or pick up something, trade something, because you might get a bow at some point. This doesn't excite me. Wop, 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 wop. Okay. Oh, that was a close one. You know what? Let's just get around the corner. Wop. Bow! Does do a nice big AoE too. I'm definitely seeing the value in the uh, the gun as a secondary. Poison attack, spear weapon. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. All right, we got a good amount of money. We could get this the double, and we totally get the double. 
I mean, 25% gold find this early <laughs> seems like a big deal. The question is if we got enough money to go for a weapon or relic at this point. Surprisingly low amount of weapon drops. I'm going to get the relic because we still have time, you know? We still have time to get that early game game changer. Yeah, I don't know why I'm even bothering with the torch right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Woo. Okay. Okay. Good deal. That just does so much. If we just like. Oh! 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 Such a bad idea! We needed more points. You can't really like dodge in and like you can't do this and then dodge. It just doesn't really work. It doesn't really work. It uses way too much too. Enemy attacks deal 25% less corruption. Sounds really nice to me. Hey, me. Thank you, thank you. Spears do not count as a heavy weapon. That's definitely something to consider when picking your weaponry. Totally. Totally, totally, totally. Ooh, woo, woo. Okay. The poison attacks, like, they're, they're nice. They do, they're do they doing good damage, but, like, dang. Okay. Who's left? Ooh, bop, 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 bop. Ooh, wait, it staggers. Oh, no. The tap, tap staggers? The tap, tap staggers. The one hit does not. Oh, jeez, Louise. All right. Or maybe it does. But dang, it uses a lot. It uses the energy up pretty darn quickly. Does it not stagger? Third one does? Third one staggers. That's pretty late. I don't know if it's worth it. At that point, so we got fourteen hundred. We got a lot of money. I do love the idea of that. We have to sack. We really go over the limit, though. Favor eight to the highest attributes. Ooh. What do we want to get rid of? I mean, we could get rid of this. Damage against weakened enemies is 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 very much on the mind to ditch, but like we might get a weakened enemy thing and then it'd be really good. I feel like we just do this. Currently, it's just a it's a net gain of five to Constitution, which is 250 uh, HP, which is like it's worth it on its own. There we go. There's our first corruption. If we don't get hit, <laughs> this is a stupid thing to even say. If we don't get hit ever. We'll only have 20 curse after the boss. Okay. Just kind of want to analyze the situation. Where's that healer? Yeah, this there's no stagger. I guess I I guess I made it up. Their head's going wacky. But I guess I, I... I don't know. I guess I made it up. That's disappointing. We don't have, like, a, a banging weapon yet. Hell, we hardly have a weapon. Okay, this is... Oh, that was hardly that bad of a trap. Not so tricksy hobbits is after all. Good amount of money... I don't know, this this delayed damage is not impressing me either. Like, it, oh, I don't know. It, it does good damage, but, like, 
I don't know. Boy, I'm I'm just hyper confused about that stagger. I feel like he would have stopped his uh I feel like he would have stopped his attack if he this staggered. Currently I am not a spear boy. Ooh. Crit two seconds after a perfect dodge. I feel like we might as well just do this, but let's learn. Oh, what the hell? I don't know that I like that. I mean, unless it, you know, once again, unless it staggers. So this is stats. Obviously, we're going for damage and max health. All right. So with a huge, like, a, with a 25% um, of max HP thing like that, we will pretty much, uh, we'll want to go for higher, higher max health. We had that weird build yesterday where we kind of wanted to, kind of wanted to avoid it. Oh, shoot. I don't, I don't love this. Hmm. Okay. This is not great. Okay, now we crit though. That's that's what we do. It's just no. Come on, let me perfect dodge. Crit, 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 crit. Perfect dodge. Oh. I was expecting another one. Okay, 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 okay. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Like a little friend. I'll take you there. Okay, so maybe it is possible to perfect this sucker. Gold offerings remove 15 corruption. That's uh, that's substantial. Plus two constitution as well. Hmm. I think that this is doing the kind of same thing. 10% of crits. Also, you, you're right. I really want that. Mm -hmm. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This would gain one constitution. Ah, let's get rid of the fragments. So it looks like it forcefully removed my curse. So I must have I must have gotten the healing. So that puts us in an interesting situation. We actually could just we don't have to actually do that path right now. Uh weapon. Let's go stat, stat, stat. That sounds kind of fun. Stat, stat, stat. Stat, stat, stat. So we really, uh, currently our build is kind of just like, do a perfect dodge. Da, 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 da. Why is it to the perfect tune? Ah, oh, of that, uh, of that song. Oh no! Apparently that was still a perfect dodge. <laughs> All right. Shoot. That was a disaster among disasters. Disaster among disasters. OK. 
Okay. Bring it. Bring it, mister. Gotta do a perfect dodge. This is, I mean, it's risky. Come on. Come on. Toro! Oh, it wasn't even a perfect dodge. Toro! 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 Hey! Ho! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh that was bad anyway. Uh, I can't do it. You know what? La, 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 la. Let me take you there. Okay. I see, obviously, I see that hallway there. I don't want to... Eh, let's lure him out. Bring it. Come here, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh. Get that, 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 that. Oh, no. Oh, no. We can't do it like that. That's good healing, but, like, dang. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I kind of want to be like this, though. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Bring it, bring it. Here, kitty, kitty. Yep. No. Yep. Ba, 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 da. Ten percent base damage for heavy weapons and three dexterity. The spear is uh, heavy. The spear's not a heavy weapon. It would be three dexterity. As much as I like, I do like to see the big number. I don't think so. I think we missed something back here. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know, man. Our HP situation is a little bit, a uh, little bit less great than I would like. I'm actually just gonna pay gold for this. It re removes 15 corruption, which is fantastic. And then we can, because the thing is, I want to remove 15 corruption in every single one of these rooms. So if we, if we keep purchasing um, dual stats, we may run into issues there. Okay. Show me what you got. Six decks. I mean, that's something. let it all be dex. Now our damage, look at that. Our damage took our over as our highest stat. So we should heal more. Uh-oh. Come here, gang. Oh. Bring it. We don't, though. Oh, no. No! Oh, three, two, one. Yeah! Okay, this is actually a pretty easy one to perfect dodge. So we can actually, in theory, if we don't mess this up, should get a lot off of this. Okay. <laughs> this is sketchy. This is sketchy. Oh, we're not healing nearly as much as I would like. Oh, shoot, there's more. Oh. Yeah, we're kind of like sticking around the same general uh, vicinity. What was this? 200% greed kill time limit plus two constitution? Wait, so what, what's going on here? What? How much is this? Eight to the highest stat. So if we subtract eight, so we have 16 damage. If we put this on, we would transfer it back over to our HP. Which I think we want to go into the final boss with more with more max HP than damage, so we can get a bigger heal at the end. Kind of just trying to min-max that a little bit. 
Did I just... What was I thinking there? I almost just skipped right over this like a dingle. Alright. We're managing our curse pretty well. I think we're doing pretty well considering we skipped the well. <laughs> How many times can I say well? Make our own light source. Uh, get ready! Oh! Who cares about the HP right there? Kind of just a rough. Oh. This this run is not really a uh, not really a uh, push it to the limit kind of a room. Very timed. Oh god! Somebody! Somebody! Come on! Somebody! Ooh, 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 ooh. Fight! Oh, oh, ah, I don't care. Why does he leave these skulls on the ground? That one's in fire, that's why. That's why he leaves that one in, on the ground. Uh, bad. Okay, all right. Do what I can after this fool. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, living life on the edge. Living life on the edge. Living life on the edge. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. We got a bit. We got a bit back. I would love if we could get another heal from crit situation happening. Okay. Okay. At this rate, we might not even get, get a curse, which is pretty crazy. I don't know, though. I feel like not going for the well, it's a little dicey. We need to get some really good perfect dodge situations going on. Do we have any other way to crit? God, we just really have garbage for weapons. Uh-oh. I don't love this. Oh, no. Okay. That. Oh my god. Honestly, it went pretty well. Thought we got it perfect. Uh. Oh god, I hate this scenario. This is such a nasty selection of enemies. I think we need to get the dog. Woo! Woo! Woo -ha! We almost. Okay. You know what? Okay. <sighs> So if we actually do it from further away, we'll get more healing. Seven, no, we, yeah, we got the 7 HP instead of the 3 HP back. Fire attacks, attacks from behind, deal 30% more damage. Yeah, we'll just do it. Plus fire attacks is just good. Plus 15% crit damage and 3 dexterity. That's just good. That is just good. Oh, yikes. And a half. 10% of crit damage. I mean, yeah, we, we really want that. The question is where to put it. Okay. I think it's I think it's an okay time to ditch that now. We got a good amount of money. Okay, who are we dealing with here? Okay. All right. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Come on. I don't know what... I don't remember what the, uh... This does. The shield. You know? Ooh! We're definitely... We're healing for more. 
We're definitely healing for more. I, these guys are just not worth the perfect dodge. Their, their swing radius is so big, it's just too spooky for me. Nope. But let's... I don't think... Th this staggers. This doesn't stagger. Important info. Okay. Here comes explosions. All right. All right. All's well, right? All's well. I wonder what this room is. It's is this gold or is this random? No, this is gold. And then the next is between relic, relic or random. Oh god, duh! That was a disaster. That was a disaster. Oh, we don't have a gun anymore. Okay, do we do we seriously? <laughs> you gotta admit that was pretty good oh my god our hp is so bad though and it's really genuinely genuinely it's because of the fact that we um we skipped over the well this is a problem HP. You never know. You never know. You never know. God, every room. Every freaking room. Okay. Not good. Not good, not good, not good, not good. What is this? 5% of your max hit health when you pass through a door at plus 3 perception. Honestly. Okay. What is this? Impress me. Passive illumination. Well, we just, we don't have any way to crit if that is the case. This is not great. Might be a well. I don't know. It might be a well or might be somewhere we can spend our money more effectively. Fool's Bounty. What's this now? Opening a gold chest now. Inflicts. Okay. I was really hoping we would maybe get the uh, lose gold when you take a hit. But. But. Uh, take 25% less damage situation. Okay. Here we go. This could be good. This could be. This could be a net gain. Okay. Bring it. Bring it. I'm scared, but bring it. Not good, not good, not good. This is so sketchy. Oh, this is so sketchy. His his attack is scarier. Oh my god, that was such a bad dodge. He he's slower. Oh my god. He's slower. They're slow on their run attack. There we go. I know we didn't get the full HP, but you know, I'm just. I ain't gonna push it too hard. Oh. Oh God. I, is there a secret room here? I, I kind of figured. What's happening? What we'll hop them? What we'll hop them in? Okay, a bunch of stuff just blew up. I guess is what happened. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go.
Heal me. You shall be my healing. Okay. Ready? Okay, 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 okay. We got to 805. Max stamina by one. Ooh. That's kind of that's kind of nice. We have anything with perception? We do. We do have that. 5% of your max HP. 5%. The hell is 5% of 1650? It's like, uh, it's 0 0.05. 82 HP. I'll admit that's higher than I thought. Oh, so that makes sense because it's half. 16.5. I gotcha. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Um. 85 HP or a max extra max stamina. This helps us throughout the whole rest of the game though. 85 every single room adds up. If I got to think about I mean I uh, an extra stamina sounds really nice. I'll, I'll admit. Sounds amazing. Okay, here we are. Ideally we get some max HP up. Oh, wait, this isn't... No, I was... Oh, whoops. 10% extra base damage per 1,000 gold. So we would get an extra 20% base damage. This gives us four extra constitution, though, extra HP. Um, I think this is worth it, though. The question is, what are we getting rid of? This is a net gain in damage. This is still a net gain in damage. I'm I'm a little spooked. I'm a little spooked. We don't have a good stagger. We don't have a good stagger here. Wait, can you... You can break these?! Oh my god. This is a disaster. Without the stagger... Uh-oh. This is not gonna be any better. healed after the first boss. I, I feel like it's basically required. I feel like it's basically required. Oh, jeez. At least at my... Uh, at, it's required at my, at my current skill level. I don't know why I thought I could avoid it. Alright, our curse situation was great. At no point was I worried about our curse situation. So that's, you know, step up in that regard. But, like, our weapons were really, really bad, to be honest. I, 
I never went to... Did I ever go to a weapon room? We went to one weapon room. But, like, the weapon drops we got weren't impressive the whole run. Like, I feel like I was, I was working with scraps there, and I think I did a pretty good job. The perfect dodge into healing thing was not a bad idea. I feel like we needed to be doing either more damage or have a higher heal on the crit for it to make more of a difference. I'm sure we, like, we healed a lot over the course of the whole run. I mean, you can see right there. We, we restored 1,695. That other run that we did with the big hammer healing, which I consider to be like a lot of healing, we got 2,000. And that, we had a whole extra set of floors. So this was on pace to do more than that over the course of the whole run, but still, it just wasn't quite there. Wasn't quite there. Learning the claw. I feel like, yeah, I, I, I feel like I definitely had... I was working with scraps more there. And you know what's also one thing to think about is that um, Indomitable doesn't actually help us as much with the claw. That's another thing to think about. The Indomitable does not help us as much with the claw since we are, if you think about it, we're attacking for less time. So that gives us less window. You know, it's like, I don't know. The lack of stagger, too. There, there's a couple things. There, there's all kinds of ways we could have done that boss better. Like, step one, uh, dodge correctly. <laughs> Obviously. The whip phase got us good. Because in the past, so far, the runs that have dominated that phase of the fight have been either A, a ranged weapon, or B, a stagger weapon. The dagger... It, having the dagger makes that first the the whip phase hilariously easy hilariously easy uh and the range weapon you can for the most part out outrange it and apparently yeah you can kill those orbs they look intangible but <laughs> that that makes so much more sense that makes so much sense that you can kill those i can't believe i have not gotten a single comment about that it must be because and here's the thing is I, I, I guess it does make sense. Like, that makes me feel good in the sense that it can't be... It couldn't have been that clear if I haven't gotten a single comment about it uh, up to this point on uh, whatever, episode 5 or 6 or something. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support we should leave on this series up to this point. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you next time.